Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and today I'm at the National Motorhome and Campervan Show at the Peterborough Showground. And I'm with my colleague from Campervan Magazine, Geneve Brand. And today we're going to have a look around just some of the vans that have caught our attention at the show. We recently filmed the Remor Evo 77 Plus and this is a sister model, the 66 Plus. Price is still just 58,995 on a 2022 model. Obviously there will be a slight increase for the 2023s and delivery I understand is from about November. Ford Transit chassis and you can get the automatic gearbox option for £2,400. But the big difference here is that rather than the rear lounge of the 77 Plus, here you've got an island bed layout. So inside you've got the classic island bed layout with a toilet area on one side at the foot of the bed and the shower on the opposite side. I'm told you can, as an option, have this as an electric rise and fall bed too if you want to get bikes or even a scooter in the garage at the back. A standard, it's just a low bed with a smaller garage outside. Up front you've got the currently very popular side settee type of lounge and those settees convert into travel seats so that you can use this as a four berth van because you've got an electric drop down, bed comes down from above. You've also got big over cab sunroof and it does feel quite spacious up here. So there's a mix of new and used camper vans here at the show and we picked out this example here. So 2003 plate, so that's what, 19 years old. Um, and it's 19 and a half thousand pounds. It's got 47,000 miles on the clock. Uh, let's take a look inside. So sitting inside, you can see this is a front lounge layout. We've got the side of the sofa across here. These are really nice when the doors open like that. Uh, this, of course, converts into a bed come night time. So these vans are great for two people. Uh, there is a third travel seat there. We've just noticed that's got um, a three point belt on it. So that's good. Um, at the back of the van, you've got a washroom on the one side that's got a loo and a sink in it. On the other side, there's a kitchen. You've got um, four burner hob there. There's a sink next to it. You get a grill, etc. So you've got everything in here that you could need, really. There's a big variety of Volkswagen based campers here at the show but if you're looking for something of that size, maybe there's something that's a little bit different, the Renault traffic here converted by Greenline Leisure Vehicles offers perhaps a more affordable option. Price from $45,450 on, on a new base vehicle or you can have just the conversion done on your own van for $17,950. Now this one is a short wheelbase traffic at just under five metres, but you can have the long wheelbase or indeed with a pop top instead of the high top roof. But the interesting thing about this conversion is that not only does it have a rear kitchen rather than the side kitchen that you typically see in a VW, but it's got a toilet at the back as well. So your kitchen's at the back and you've got a worktop that extends across. But the key thing here, as I said, is the toilet. And first of all, you can open the wardrobe door to give you a bit of privacy, shut you off from the front half of the van. And then the toilet slides out from under the fridge here. Couldn't be much easier than that, could it? So you've got private facilities for wild camping, camping off grid in a very small van. Up front in this camper you have two rear travel seats and the offside one can be converted into a settee on site and then you've got the nice view out through the door. But the new feature in this RG500 this year is the overcab sunroof and that does put a lot more light into the vehicle.
So there's a real range of exhibitors at the show this year. Um, a Norvan are here for their first year and we've spotted this van. Um, how could you miss the motorbike? Skittles, who doesn't love Skittles? So that got my attention. Um, it's been built for a customer. Apparently um, he used to have a motorhome. He wanted something more compact that he could get his motorbike in the back of. Uh, he and his son love to go off grid. So we've got this one-off custom built van here where essentially, as you can see, the motorbike goes on the back. There's this ramp so you can lower the ramp and the bike will go on uh, when you get to site this comes out the ramp slides back in inside it's a pop top camper it's got um, the, the bed in the in the pop top as you'd expect and then it's got the kitchen etc as well uh, so let's take a look at what's inside so it's sitting inside now, the first thing you notice on a sunny day like to die is the, uh, the UK Pop Tops roof, which as you can see is like a panoramic with uh, Pop Tops, so it opens all around the sides, which is lovely on the day like today. Um, so in here now the motorbike's still at the back, so you can sort of see how it lays out. It's a two-seater, so both the cab seats swivel around, there's no bench here or anything. Obviously the motorbike, that would normally be out and then you've got your floor back. So the customer obviously has gone for no gas in here, so it's electric only, and that means in the kitchen on the side here, there's a, a two hob um, induction hob there next to it is a little sink and then you've got a fridge below at the back of the van there's some storage and there's water tanks on either side as well also on the roof there's a tv so you can just imagine at night time in here for two people um, yeah you've got everything in here that you'd need um, yeah super comfy this vw is the latest from knight's custom conversions based in lincolnshire now, the clue that it's something different is that the roof is hinged from the front rather than the back because the kitchen is at the back. And of course that's where you mainly need standing room. But not only does this have the kitchen at the back and a built-in cassette toilet, but it's even got a shower in a long wheelbase T6 camper. At the front, this new mountain peak conversion has the familiar RIB single seats, and these make into twin beds at night. You've got the double passenger cab seat in this one, and a, of obviously then the single driver's seat, but the double passenger seat does swivel. You could alternatively, of course, have a single passenger seat there. But the interesting bit of this mountain peak conversion is at the back. So we're familiar with Knight's high quality design with things like this Corian worktop and the nice induction cooker. It all feels very nicely finished in here. But the interesting bit, of course, is that you've got a shower and a toilet in a VW pop top. Now your shower tray is under the floor, just lift out the panel. You have a privacy screen and that actually comes right down to floor level. So you've got full privacy from the front of the vehicle. And then the shower tray has a metal rod that sits in, in, the tra in the shower tray. So your shower curtain pulls up, attaches here, and it widens as it goes up. So you've got plenty of room to have a shower. The shower head itself just pulls out from the side here. So if you want to go off grid in your VW, this is definitely one to look at. So it's horses for courses with camper vans, isn't it? If you've, got, if you've got a family, perhaps a couple of children, you're looking for that extra space. Um, an alternative to perhaps a VW pop top is something like this. The Fiat Ducato short wheelbase, the length is similar. It's a little bit wider, so you've got a bit more room. This is the Trevay from Orange Campers, um, and it comes in a choice of the high top, which is this one we're looking at today, or you could have a pop top. So it gives you a four berth camper van. It's got four or five travel seats too. Um, and inside you've got everything you'd expect, like the fridge and the cooker, etc. And the price tag is just one pound shy of 57,000. So let's have a look inside. So sitting inside now, as you might be on the campsite, we've got the two cab seats swivelled. Over there you've got the three-seater bench, so you could sit five in here. You've got the table there too, so you've got room there for meal times, etc. Um, quite a typical side kitchen layout here. So we've got the, um, there's a sink there, there's a little two burner hob next to it. We've got the sink underneath here. At the back of the van there's storage. Because this is a high top van, there's lots of storage as well. There's actually four lockers at the top. You can put the bed up in here, so it folds down, it's at the back, it's not quite the same as a pop top. It's in several sections, that will fold forwards, room up there for a couple of children and there's a ladder to get up there as well. Everything else in here as you'd expect, you've got plenty of lighting, there's a skylight, etc. 
If you're looking for a really small camper, how about this from CC Campers? It's their little Klee, and this one's been designed for one person. Based on a Nissan NV200, this one is a petrol automatic, and based on a grey imported van from 2016, price starts at just under 30 grand. Move up to a newer vehicle, 2021 model, and that would be 43,995. But interestingly, you can also get this conversion on the fully electric Nissan E NV200, which looks slightly different at the front, but gives you full electric motoring. Inside, it's a typical side kitchen layout with a swivel passenger seat in the cab and this rather nice moulded worktop for the kitchen. You've got access to your kitchen cupboards from outside too, because you've got a second sliding door, which doesn't give you access into the vehicle, but it does give you access to the cupboards, as well as an outdoor table, perhaps for serving up when you're eating outside. Your pot top gives you standing room and loads of ventilation around the back of the vehicle, and this seat simply slides forward and flattens to make a single bed, while still leaving room to access your porta potty if you need the loo in the night. So at the back here you've got access to your loo for servicing and your gas locker there as well. But if you go for the fully electric version, then all your heating and cooking is electric too. So the Ford Transit Customs really come to the forefront as an alternative to the Volkswagen as a base vehicle in the last few years. Um, we've got a new exhibitor at the show here, this is Speeds, and they focus only on the Ford Transit Custom. Um, and we've got a variety of really brightly coloured camper vans here today. This one particularly caught our eye, it's quite striking. You'll see inside what I mean. So the Ford Transit Custom inside is very similar size to the VW and that means the layout here is very much the same. So you've, here you've got um, two-seater bench, obviously that turns into the bed. We'll see in the cab, this one's actually got the uh, twin cab seat so you can travel five in here essentially. Side kitchen layout and we've got a microwave here which is an unusual thing to see in a, in a van of this size. Then we've got two burner hob and the sink next to it as you'd expect, there's a little sink there. Um, also what's nice about this one, it's got the skyline roof which means in summertime you can zip this all open and you know let the daylight in that's really nice and you'll also see this one's got a map on the roof Scotland in particular uh, you can use a marker pen there apparently you can cross off where you've been and wipe it off so that's a nice touch isn't it we've looked at quite a few camper vans that you could easily use as your everyday car but I'm not sure I'd take this Catargo to Sainsbury's. However, if you're planning a long-term tour, this van that's been brought to the show by Camper UK is certainly a rival for maximum luxury on that six months away. It's based on a tag axle Mercedes Alco chassis, five and a half tonne gross vehicle weight, so you'll have plenty of payload for everything you want to take on that grand tour. 8.75 metres long, as I say, it's on the six-wheeler chassis, so it will feel very, very stable on the road. I'm due to be testing a Catargo very shortly, so there'll be a full report on that on our channel soon. Well, there's no shortage of luxury on board a motorhome like this. Just look at the feeling of space. Your television is 40 inches. I think that's bigger than the one I've got in my lounge. And what a lounge too. Plenty of space, these big captain's chairs swivel around. You've got the very stylish round table as usual in a Catargo. Unusually, no drop down bed, but you've got these two big sunroofs over the seating area. So it feels very, very light, even though we're parked indoors. Other features, well, you've got a built-in coffee machine. Yeah, everything you could possibly think of. Just look at the size of the fridge freezer. Yeah, everything you could possibly want. But then this van will only give you 45 pounds change from 200 grand. This particular model, the E-Line i61 XL LE, is a single bed model with twin two meter single beds at the back and they tip up so that you can sit up comfortably with your breakfast or the newspaper in the morning. But what really impresses me is this washroom area. It's a bit like being in a boutique hotel, isn't it? With this, well, beautiful shower and washing area. And all this, of course, can be separated from the living area at the front and the bedroom at the back. How about this for that?
really special long-term motorhome tour. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of Volkswagen camper vans at the show here this weekend, and we're here with Wildtrax camper vans, who are a Bristol-based company. They've got a number of vans on show here, um, and they're building on both new and used. And this one here is an example of a used one. It's on a 2017 plate, it's got 40,000 miles on the clock, and the price tag is just shy of 50,000. Also, it's a, a 204 PS uh, DSG. So yeah, let's have a look at what you get inside for that. Inside, we've got the uh, classic side kitchen layout, as you might expect. Uh, this one, you can see you've got a top-loading fridge, and the benefit of that is the, the, the galley tends to be a little bit narrower, so you do get a little bit more room. So next to the fridge, we've got the usual two-burner hob, and there's a, a sink there too, a number of storage units underneath. Then we've got a little two-seater bench here, but in the cab, we've got a two-seater bench, so you can travel five in here, essentially. Um, and then we've got a nice skyline roof there, the that you can open up fully on a nice sunny day let the daylight in also got things like a heater in here um, plenty of lighting etc so yeah everything you'd expect to see in a van like this here's something a little bit different from sb2 campers based in leicestershire on a renault master which is one of those base vehicles we don't see quite so often Typically, this size of van is a Fiat Ducato or a Peugeot Boxer, but I actually quite like the Renault to drive, and it is slightly longer than a long wheel base Fiat. Now, this one has actually been built and designed for SB2 campers proprietors to use themselves for the, for the family. So it's got a pop top for a child to sleep upstairs, as well as a rear lounge that converts into a bed. Let's have a look at what you get inside it. So a rear lounge is always popular in a van of this size because when you've got a nice day and the back doors are wide open where well, you can really enjoy the outdoors and the fresh air. It's a good size lounge at the back, makes a transverse double bed. But what really impresses me in this vehicle is the size of the kitchen. The amount of worktop space is just vast for what isn't a huge motorhome. You've got a full walk-in washroom and toilet area as well with a shower. And unusually, because this has been designed as a family vehicle, not only have you got the three travel seats in the cab, but an extra rear passenger seat as well. And of course, that bed up in the pop top. I think this van really just goes to show how varied the camper van and motorhome market is and what a selection there is at this show. And SB2 campers actually say that they never seem to build two campers alike. In fact, every one that they build is a bit of a one-off. Now this one obviously they built for themselves, so it's very much a family van. But the next one might be for a solo customer or just a luxury two-bird. So that is the National Camper Van and Motorhome Show. Hope you've enjoyed our little taster of the show. Of course, there's plenty more here to see. A huge variety of camper vans and motorhomes and lots of accessories and even entertainment in the evening. There are more Warner's Camper Van and Motorhome Shows coming up too. At Newbury, at Lincoln, at Shepton Mallet, at Norwich and at Malvern. To see all the dates and times of those shows, visit Out and About Live .co.uk forward slash shows. That's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <laughs>